This is one of the craziest stockpiles of scrolls we have ever seen on this channel. It's not that he has more scrolls than anyone else, it's that he has saved basically all of the special scrolls for the past few years. If you guys don't believe me, let's take a look at all of the different scrolls he has. He's got the Assassin's Creed SWC 2022s, Cookie Run Kingdom 8 Year Transcendence. It's almost 9 years. It's 2023. It's almost 9 years into the game at this point. He's got the 7 Year Special Scrolls. He's got the Ancient Transcendence. He's got 3 Transcend... He's got 6 Transcendence. SWC 2020 Scrolls. Street Fighter Scrolls. Legendary All Tribute. He's got Legendary Water, Fire, Wind. 77... Uh, what has he got? 127 legendaries he's got plenty of lds he has water fire winds and mystical scrolls so many premium scrolls this i mean the street fighters in the 2020s kind of show how long this person has been saving so let's uh let's get it started hopefully we get some crazy stuff he wants eladriel i mean there's other ones just that he wants an additional eladriel but i thought that was a little bit surprising eladriel would be wonder so you can do lab boss and hell mode a little bit easier other than that, World Arena monsters would be great. Feel free to change the selected monsters on the scrolls to reflect that. I just put in new monsters. So they are actually missing some some other stuff aside from just Eladriel, obviously, if he's been saving all these premium scrolls for so long. Uh, shout out to my friend Eric. He's a big fan. Uh, I'm not going to say all of this stuff. Some of this stuff is not good to say on YouTube, but... Oh my good! Uh, it's I don't know why it's being. Maybe it's loading all of the uh, all the the new net fives into our account. Just why is it being weird? I have no idea why it's being weird. Maybe we maybe we re, uh, relog. Such an exciting summon session. And Kato's like, no 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 no, break the game, break the <laughs> break the game. <laughs> all right. Um... Yeah, I'm not. Uh, I'm not gonna say all this stuff. There's a lot of there's a lot of stuff you have to censor on YouTube. It's like that's personal. That's personal. That's personal. So yeah, uh, let's take a look at some of the other ones he's missing. Uh, let's do the let's do the rest of the mysticals first, and then we'll see what else he's missing. I guess we don't have to relog. It seems like it's doing fine now. Well, we know that we're getting lightning, so that's good. That's a good start. Why is it being weird? I don't know why it's being weird. Cause I'm excited. Comptra's like, wait, 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 wait. Something's wrong. Something is definitely wrong. He's excited about summoning. This is odd. Cause it's only lagging here a little bit. It's not really lagging on the uh, on the island, right? I don't think so. I, we better get some good stuff. Oh, he's got a Dark Monkey. Alright, what else is he missing in terms of... Wow, he's missing Vanessa, he's missing Laika, Oki, uh, Meiha Wang, Zyros. A lot of stuff, a lot of stuff, a lot of stuff. Look at all these things. I mean, obviously, you'd be missing things because there's so many premium scrolls that are not summoned for quite a long time. No Mo Long, No Varad, Abelio, Nana, Shizuka... More there's, yeah, there's a lot of stuff, a lot of a lot of really nice stuff that we're missing here. Also, he's missing some <laughs> Aladriel. That's the most exciting one. He's missing Oliver, Savannah, uh, Shung Pung. There's a lot of stuff. What about the three stars, LD threes? Nope. Looks like he's got all LD threes. All right, let's get back to the let's get back to the summoning because we have uh, quite a lot, so it's gonna take a bit. Hopefully, we can summon. Hopefully, we can get some good yeah, illusion. Hopefully, we can get good enough stuff for this to have been worth the years, literal years of saving. I'm getting like a little bit of anxiety, thinking like this video file is gonna get corrupted or something. Oh god. Oh my goodness. It doesn't happen as much anymore. It used to happen all the time. It doesn't happen as much anymore. I think it was just OBS back in the day it was not very, not very reliable, and it would crash. But you know, literally ten years later, who who would have thought? 
Well, um, almost 10 years. I, I can't say 10 years. Like eight and a half years, whatever. Who would have thought that's... So it is a little bit... You know what? We're going to come back. It is a little bit wacky. We should be better now. I don't know why it was acting up. But hopefully it is... I think Google Play might have been trying to update and update and update it. They don't seem to like it when you tell them no. Big surprise. Big tech companies don't, don't like it when you tell them no. I don't like to uh, update Google Play games, though. If I don't have to. Google doesn't like that. I don't like to update their uh, their thing. Hopefully we can get Shungpung and Savannah. I know they wanted Eladriel. I kind of don't want Eladriel for them. Oh. Hopefully the RNG will continue. We're getting very, very good rates so far. But we want not just very good rates. We want very good. We want Nat fives, and we want premium Nat fives, and we want LD fives. We have. Uh, I mean, we don't have to, but man, we really. Uh, I. I would. I really feel like an LD five should be in this summon extravaganza somewhere, some kind of LD five, even if it's like a collab unit or. We'll keep this. It's a it's a pretty good dupe to to have. They said keep top tier uh, dupes, so we could double check. Why not? What else we got going on right now? Let's do this, and let's see. Just to uh, just to double check. I don't know why I have a. There we go. I don't know why I don't have a link to it. An easy link. Like right here. A decent amount of people would have kept the Xingzhi dupe. There's still more people that would have fed, but... A little bit higher than I expected. Where is Tiana? I don't even see Tiana here. Oh, it's right here. 83%. 83% would have kept the Tiana. A dupe Tiana. Which is what we did. 83%? That seems like it's very high. 83%? Leo is... Well, Leo is 89. Wow. I thought she was like 60 or 65. Maybe. 83%. She's the only unit that actually strips things. When she uses her skill, she actually will strip things. Every other stripper is like, uh, If I feel like it, maybe. I might show up to work today. All this stuff in Summoner's War, if if this was applied to real life, would n like it would not fly. It would not ever fly. Well, maybe it would. I don't know. <laughs> in this day and age, some things fly that I don't. I feel like shouldn't. But the whole anti-work movement. I was like, well, if if monsters show up to uh, show up to work, or, or or didn't show up to work, or just showed up and didn't work, I'm like, that's kind of what people are doing nowadays anyway. Not showing up, not working, still getting paychecks. So none of that. So I I, I shouldn't say that this wouldn't fly in the real in the real world. I like to think about, um, or rather, I have thought about for years that like if you went to a restaurant and you were and you got the same response from that restaurant as you did in Summoner's War. Where like they advertise one thing. They're like, oh, get this thing. And you'll get this crazy, you know, get this package. And you might get a crazy LD5. It's like, oh, okay. I might get a crazy LD5 from this. Like, you go buy a package. And then, like, you get basically nothing out of it. Like, w <laughs> if you went to a restaurant. And you paid, like, $30 for, like, you would... You would not do... Well, some of you might. Because 
it's fun for the lulls, I suppose. But most people, if they go into a restaurant, they would not pay $30 for a random dinner, which may or may not be something that they even want. Although I suppose there are still, let's put these in storage. It's here, right? Those, uh, those boxes don't matter. Is that a dupe demon? I'm a f if that's a dupe demon, I'm going to feed that demon. I don't even care. Mm, I don't see, I don't see a first one. All right. Where are we? We are at the Sag. All of them were, all of them are dupes. Or both of the both of the choices were dupes, rather. That one, the one blessing we had. That would piss a lot of people off if there was a. And I'm sure there are restaurants like this. I'm sure that's an actual thing. But that would piss a lot of people off if you spent thirty dollars for lunch. First off, thirty dollars for lunch is overpriced. Yet we will spend thirty dollars. Well, no, some of you won't. Some of you won't spend anything on this game, and probably the smarter, <laughs> probably the smarter ones of us are the ones that don't spend anything in the game. But some people will just spend thirty dollars in the game, like it's nothing, not even think twice about it. But yet, if lunch was thirty dollars, they'd be like, "What thirty dollars for lunch?" And then if it was like thirty dollars for lunch plus, you don't know what you're getting. Well, I have allergies. Well, it doesn't matter if you have allergies. You don't know what you're getting. Well, I would like a chicken sandwich. I also don't want to spend $30 on it. Well, you can possibly maybe get a chicken sandwich. It is $30, though. We'll give you, uh, if you use Amazon coins, rip Amazon coins. I, I, I guess that, oh, there we, I don't know why I skipped that. Not rip Amazon coins. It's still, Amazon coins is still a thing. They just lowered the discount, right? So, yeah, we'll give you this 10% off. It's a new thing, if you guys didn't notice, uh, didn't hear about it yet. It's just this week that they did it. So, yeah, I think Amazon Coins is not going to be used by as many people anymore. Because there's other, like, for example, Google Play is trying to get people to use their service more. So, they're offering other incentives. I don't have a problem with Amazon Coins, I just... They started charging more tax now, or started charging tax in more regions, and where they used to not do in all the regions, and they lowered the discounts. So, it, that that was kind of the strategy, though, from the very beginning, is they were offering these really, uh, what word am I looking for? Really appealing. Why am I still skipping the lightning? Before we know what it is, they were offering really appealing discounts because they wanted people to start using their service, and then we kind of figured they were going to decrease the uh, the the discounts later, so they wouldn't be as as juicy and exciting. So that's not really that surprising. Let's stick this in storage, shall we? We shall. All right, so a couple Nat 5 so far. Nothing crazy. But we didn't get to the super premium stuff yet. Yeah, imagine spending $30 for wanting a chicken sandwich. Opening up the, uh, whatever, lunchbox. The lunchbox. I mean, if it comes with, like, a collectible lunchbox, maybe I might spend $30 on lunch. But that's more for the collectible than it is for the... Food, I suppose. They should just do that. That's this is probably this is probably like a, a ten million dollar food truck idea. Random lunches in nostalgic eighties uh, lunch boxes. I'm gonna Thundercats lunch box and a hot dog. <laughs> This is a $10 million idea. Someone's got to steal it. You know what? Multiple different people could steal it. You live in different cities. Some of you live in different countries. 
He probably a bunch of people could steal it. Ten million dollars each. Listen, if you steal that and make ten million dollars, I don't know. I want a, I want a lunchbox. I want lunch one day. That's that's what that's my cut. I'm cheap. Or you could not give me lunch. That's fine too. <laughs> that's how cheap I am. I don't remember what I was talking about before. I was talking about something, probably. Because, you know, that's what I do for all these videos, but... No idea. I don't remember what I was talking about. I don't remember. Also, I don't know why this is, like, behind my head half the time. It's probably better if it's behind my head. What was I talking about with the orange... Oh. The, uh... A random gotcha food mechanics. I mean, they already have some restaurants that are like gotcha style because it's like the the little special, like the revolving sushi places are kind of gotcha style. They have the little gotcha toys. If you have, uh, if you get, well, I guess it depends on which uh, which restaurant. But like for X amount, you you uh, you put in X amount of plates. After you're done, and like however many plates of sushi you get, you get a toy. So, a random toy. Because of course, everything's got, that's the whole point of gotcha. It's like a 10 cent toy. <laughs> <sighs> Spend $80 on dinner for a 10 cent toy. There's always gotta be a gimmick though. Welcome to how things work nowadays. People don't want to actually pay for anything because they're so used to free, 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 free as that free was the worst marketing tool. I mean, it was a great marketing tool at first, um, but yeah, it really destroyed a lot of a lot of the value in the economy, a lot of how people perceive things. Hey, here we go. This, I believe, is new, actually, because I was thinking about I s why was I maybe I wasn't looking at it. Maybe I was looking at him on my own account and like, why is he not ruined? No, by monster is what I wanted to click on. I do not. Th he wouldn't be down there. I don't see him. I think that's new. Yeah, rant of the day. Free destroyed a lot of uh, a lot of how people perceive value. And I know you guys are gonna push back. You're gonna be like, no, I don't think it's bad. I don't think it's bad. Uh, a lot of it is also has to do with your paychecks. So. People don't want to pay other people for things anymore, just in general. Kind of ruined gaming because now we have... It's, it's, it's basically led to all of these different manipulation tactics to try to uh, extract money from people. So any scummy different ways people are making money is because we don't value each other enough to exchange money for goods and services anymore. Well, some of us still do, but yeah. Loot boxes and microtransactions that came from the free culture of people not wanting to pay for things. So it it has it has a domino effect on things. I know some of you guys are not going to believe me, but it really does. But this is stuff that all started happening decades ago. This is not stuff that happened like anytime recently. So some of you guys just always used to it in one certain way like always used to the culture of you know people offering things for free so you're like i don't see what the problem with it is because people used to uh value each other more and we don't really do that as much as we used to in a society and an economy man we've ranked about all kinds of nonsense today <laughs> We don't value each other anymore. Here's your lecture for the day. We don't want a lecture. We just want to see shiny monsters. Okay, we'll see shiny monsters. Hey, it's Lumericia. It'd be, ooh, it'd be nice to see. This is a dupe. We are going to feed that for a blessing. Should we feed it for a water blessing? They're missing, they're missing a bunch of stuff, not just water. We might feed it for a blessing in a little bit. Because we have plenty of we have plenty of transcendence. So we might just see what we get here, and then we'll feed a couple four blessings. 
after that. Because we got the ancient transcendence. We got to make sure we have an, a blessing for the ancient transcendence too. If we don't, then we will feed that Tiana for a for a blessing there. Rune blacksmith. Man, I want to go to that food truck now. As much as I was crapping on it, I want to go to that food truck. Oh, we're going to feed that. Right, because he's got he's got a, uh, an aerial somewhere. Did I say a ladrial? This might be new, actually. Not even fully skilled up. This is we're not we're not keeping a dupe of that either. Two oh five, which means we're close to getting a double. No complaints. No complaints for a double. I mean, the complaint would be if we just keep getting dupes and dupes and dupes and dupes and dupes. Then it's kind of, then I would still complain, of course. Water Choco Knight. It would be nice to actually use some of those. I think really the thing that come to us should try to tailor them to is Siege. Which I think they, excuse me, I think they might have done. Initially, they were like, oh, maybe we can use this. Uh, maybe, maybe these can be siege units. But they didn't perform like they had hoped. Water Dice Magician. I should use him more. Never mind, I shouldn't use him more. I'm just thinking of his RNG. I don't need more RNG in the game. I need more guarantees. I don't want to lose to just getting unlucky. Like, it's fine to lose if someone outplays you, but, or maybe some people would disagree, but I just don't, for me personally, I would rather lose to someone outplaying me than lose to just like my monster's not working. Cause this is just like every, every day for me is like, oh, well it didn't do anything. Oh, well it didn't do anything. Oh, well it didn't do anything. It's like, if a unit has an AOE crowd control skill and I, no, I thought this was a five star for whatever. It wouldn't have been a five star Bayek. It's a water, water scrolls, water Bayek. Would not have been a five star. If a unit has CC in the skill, and then you put despair runes on it, you're like, I got two chances for CC. It's 100% activation. I put a bunch of accuracy on this. Attack a full team of enemies, nothing lands. Like, you're telling me that. <laughs> Hold on, I turned into Nick the Greek. You're telling me that if. Uh... If I attack a full team of things with CC in the skill, and then CC also in uh, Despair Runes, and nothing lands at all. That's just, oh, well, bad luck. I mean, like, obviously it's bad luck, but that just, that, that will make anyone want to not play the game. Counter's like, we disagree. We think that you should spend more money. We think everyone should just spend more money, and that should be their, their strategic gameplay strategy. Oh, okay. All right. Uh, we are going to jiggle some stuff. Oh, jiggle some Hell Ladies. We should jiggle all the Hell Ladies, because this one kind of feels left out. Well, Tashar's not a Hell Lady. LD time. I have high hopes for this. I have high hopes for this. Okay, Choco Knight. Lightning for a scroll, it's off to a good start. Jiggle those hell ladies. I know some of you prefer to jiggle them more than uh, others. We won't explain, well, we don't need to go into details why. It's a, it's a family show. Since when? Hey, Dark Robo, that's not bad. Not bad. I noticed people have been using the Dark Robo with the Fire fire Shizuka to mow. Speed Lead and Swift Dark Robo. Puts all those dots on, and then she comes in and does crazy stuff, multiplies the dots everywhere else, and absorbs attack gauge. It's an interesting combination. I'm actually surprised that I didn't use it. Considering the, how much I use the Dark Robo. I think if I used Timo more, I would have uh, noticed. I would have been like, oh, this is really good. So far, at least we got a couple lightnings. 
We need a couple more now. And by a couple, I mean like... All I want is two to three LD5s from this. Not, not gonna happen. Not gonna happen. Two to three LD5s. Yeah, right. Lucky if we get one. Lucky if we get one. Runehammer Blacksmith. Light one. Or Light Rune Blacksmith. Because they changed the name. That was the old name. Of all the things I remember and don't remember, I remember the old name of the unit, not the new name. They, they could have just gone with like Runesmith. That would have been cool. All right, 135. RNG, please. Not a great chance for uh, an LD5, but... Could happen. I mean, it could happen with even one. Dark Sniper. I feel like he's going to be a Hall of Heroes at some point. On a long enough timeline, everything's going to be a Hall of Heroes. Also, it's been like nine years. We could have a Lucian Hall of Heroes. <gasps> OPLD5! I'm going to not yell. I'm going to not yell. OPLD5. There we go. Dark D... That is a... That is a definite game changer. That definitely changes your changes your draft in RT. Or I mean, you don't even have to change your draft. He works, he works in many places. Not against the Wind Demon, but you know other places. So he could he could be flexible in the draft. He'd bring out a Dark Demon at the very end, and the opponent has to kind of figure out how they're going to play around that or ban it. I prefer to just play around it. It's like one of the things I'm... <gasps> Don't really have the fires! We have a hundred more <laughs> scrolls too! <laughs> We have a we have we are two LD fives in, and we have a hundred more scrolls. This is a this is a spot I'm not familiar with. I am not used to getting two LD five. You know what? Maybe the two to three LD fives were. Uh, this is basically an LD five, like the Kung Fu Girl. Two LD fives and a hundred scrolls left. Let's go. Oh my god. Like Cobalt. The, even the four stars are good. Like Cobalt Bomber. Because the four stars, a lot of them were not Hall of Heroes. I know Kung Fu Girl was. I know Sniper was not yet. <laughs> he will be. Don't you worry. He will be. Wow. Double LD5s. Get out of here. That's crazy. Oh, more lightning. Here we go. <gasps> Triple LD5s! Triple LD4! Are you kidding me? Triple LD5s? We got... We got triple LD... We... Oh, God. This is one of the craziest... This is one of the craziest summons we've, we've ever done. One of the craziest summon, uh... Summon Sessions. What, three LD5s. This is where they're hiding. This is all the people that's like not getting LD5s on their account. They're like, oh, okay. Not very happy about this. Which one? Dark one? Okay. I was going to say. Triple LD5s though. That's, that doesn't, that doesn't happen. That's insane. That is insane. That is really crazy. That's, that's really crazy. It's been a long time since uh, since we've had RNG. That like I, I I don't remember what our. I think actually, I think we had four in in a summit video a few years ago. I think we had. F I I did say two to three. I did say we we're gonna get two to three today. It was. I thought it was a joke. Okay. 
dark tea, black tea bunny princess. She kind of looks like a princess. I just assume princesses drink tea. I think it's a, probably a good assumption. I don't want to go anywhere else that is not the summon portal right now. I don't want to. I don't want to lose this RNG. Putting things in storage. Just keep on this. Keep on this train. Forty-seven left. Three LD fives. That is disgusting. Oh my god, that is disgusting. Three LD fives. All right, maybe maybe we're all lightning down. Maybe, maybe we should go to storage. Okay, let's put stuff in storage. Let's get. Uh, apparently, we're jiggling hell ladies from now on. That seemed to work very well. Oh my god. <sighs> and don't forget Ethna. <laughs> we can, we cannot forget Ethna. Whatever we did there, just keep doing it. So now you guys know to have Hell Ladies out for us to jiggle. I was I was kind of thinking it might be another one. That's pretty crazy. I can't believe that. I thought maybe we might get a chance to get one. I did not think, I did not actually think three were going to come out. That's what every parent says when they have triplets. Okay. <laughs> I did not think three were going to come out. What are they, what is the probability of having triplets? Like if you're not Irish. I don't know. It just seemed like it seemed like a thing. It seemed like an Irish thing. Maybe I'm just projecting and I shouldn't be doing that because 2023 and I should not project anything, but it just felt like an Irish thing. You guys can let me know. Wait, wait, wait. I was not paying attention. I was still I was still thinking about okay. Skip too fast. Still, still more lighting. Okay. He could use a little something. Light the uh, pirate captain. Wow, that is that is crazy. That is crazy nuts bananas. I don't know what a nuts banana is, but it's crazy. Well, there's there's actual things that are like nuts bananas. It's like bananas that you put chocolate on and put them in nuts. If you've never had it, don't worry. Go to the food truck. You can maybe, maybe you can get it. Just spend $30 and maybe your lunch will have a crazy nuts banana in it. Why am I skipping these, el uh, these legendaries? It's almost like I've never done this before. Cause I'm just so like just for summon videos doing these for like years for like eight years because we didn't start doing summon videos at the beginning. New overdupe. Cheesy. I mean, he still needs a buff, but yeah, we didn't uh, we didn't do summon videos at the very beginning. It was like a request thing that people wanted, and. Then it became a weekly thing, and then it became a, like that. At first, it was like ten parts long. Sometimes I don't know. I don't know why I did not put that into one video. Maybe I thought it was better. Maybe I thought it was better if I do them one by one by one by one. <laughs> I don't. There was a lot of stupid things that I thought uh, eight or nine years ago, like that. This was a good idea to play this video game for eight or nine years. Oh, weekend! Yay! Hooray! Also, for whatever reason, I thought that was a good idea to not put lights in the room when you're recording a video with a face cam. And say creepy things. Like, I still say creepy things, but it's even creepier when there's no lights. 
I can just imagine. Like, I, I, I can't really... I can't really be butthurt about people that did not like me at all back then. I mean, I can't really be butthurt about people that still don't like me. Uh, I'm sure they have plenty of reasons. All I ask is that they have actual reasons, like not fake reasons that they made up. There's plenty of reasons to not like me, but um, all I ask is that they're real reasons, like things that I actually said and did. Not like, oh, I don't like him because of this thing that I imagine he did. Why am I skipping these? Like, if you hate me for skipping lightning, valid. That's valid. But I don't, uh, like, man, back in the day, it was just, it was creepy. I mean, I was, al I, I, I was also a raging alcoholic, but, like, the tail end of the alcoholism was the beginning of the Summoner's War YouTube journey. <laughs> so, that would be one of the reasons that I didn't, uh, have any lights in the room. I was like, this hurts my, uh, my substance abuse problem to have all this, uh, these lights. Hashtag real talk. Lucian, we're not getting a whole lot of nat fives from these, these legendaries. I thought we would have gotten like one or two more from now, uh, uh by now. What you got? Chasoon. I used Chasoon today. I wanted to kind of like make a post about it or something. Be like, I got guys. I used Chasoon. It wasn't even for a meme. It was for uh, Guild Interserver Guild Wars. It was a uh, Molong. It was a uh, team with Molong and Perna and something else. And I brought a Chow, a Perna, and a Xingzhe. A, a, a Chow, a, um, I, I could have brought a Perna, actually. That would have wasted the Reckless. But I brought a, a Chow, a Chisun, and a Xingzhe. I was like, wow, it's been, a, it's been a while. It's been a while, Chisun. She was still ruined. <clears throat> they weren't great runes. I didn't change them because I didn't care that much. But... Oh my god, not another- Why you keep giving it- This is the wrong flavor! You couldn't give him just the other color. <sighs> Six more, and then we will go. We'll feed him for a blessing. Triple LD5s. Get the Fwa out of here. I wonder how Fwa is doing. Give it a couple months, I'll be back playing Summoner's War. Wait, and actually, I happened to know that he was playing Summoner's War Chronicles, wasn't he? When it first came out. I haven't been keeping up with who's playing Summoner's War Chronicles, though. I mean, aside from the sponsored crew, that's the only ones that I really think I know of. Let's see. Let's see who's playing Summoner's War Chronicles. Kind of... <laughs> Kind of forgot that that was a game. <laughs> uh, people, people playing it on Twitch. The weird thing, though, I think these are just people, for the most part, watching the channels because they are already watching the channels, not because it's Summoners War Chronicles. There's 1.4k viewers on the Summoners War Chronicles channels. There's only four. Uh, there's only 8.2k followers on Summoners War Chronicles total. 1.4, 1, 1,400 people actively watching right now at the time that I'm recording this. 8,200 followers on the entire game on Twitch. Let's go take a look at Summoners War Sky Arena. So 1.7k. Actually, that's pretty. That's pretty high. For both of those games, that's that's higher than usual, which is kind of odd. But the amount of followers following Summoner's War Sky Arena is 941,000. Like, that has taken nine years to accumulate, though. Almost nine years. So. It's not quite the same for Chronicles, because it's a new game. It came out, like, what, a few months ago? Versus nine years. 
they they wouldn't have the same. Oh, they wouldn't have the same numbers regardless. Oh, we were supposed to feed for a blessing. Dupus, I will keep though. On their behalf, let's feed uh, for a blessing, shall we? We shall. Let's put these in storage. Feeding a second aerial. So we have two blessings now. But yeah, I think a lot of these people that are currently watching Chronicles are... I mean, there's some people that are watching for the game. But I think a lot of them are watching just for the people that are playing it. Like the specific streamers. And they're just like, you know... There are some people that watch Twitch that are just like... They will watch for the streamer, and it doesn't really matter what game they play. So... That's actually usually not the case. For the most, for the majority, they care about the game and they watch the streamer because they are really good at that game or they offer some kind of insight um, into the viewers being better at it. But, and people don't realize that. People think that most people watch for the, the streamers themselves and don't care about the games, but... Or I, streamers think that, rather. Viewers, I'm sure viewers understand exactly because they are the viewers. Um... But the streamers don't seem to... They're like, I'm just going to stream on Twitch and then I'm going to get a million viewers. It's like, what's the strategy? What do you mean? I'm... It's... I'm... Because people are going to want to hang out with me. Like, that's... No, that's not... That's not the strategy. That's not a business plan. I don't need a business plan. I'm going to be a Twitch streamer. Like, no, that's... You still... You still need a business plan. Nah. People going to watch me because they like me. Like, that may happen eventually one day, but you're going to have to... There's a path to that. You have to do things to get up to that path. Nine hundred and forty-one thousand followers Summoner's War has gotten over the past nine years. That's that's a lot of followers. Chronicle should be I mean At, le at least 50,000 followers. I feel. If they wanted it to do the things that they wanted it to do. Like, wanted it to hit the numbers they wanted. Like, to be at the 900,000 point by nine years into the game. They would have had to be at, like, 50 to 100,000 by now in the like in the in the next few months after the launch window so i think mobile is kind of it's not done not not done at all but i think mobile definitely fizzled out quite a lot in the past 10 years. It was really hype around that time and even before, even like the Clash of Clans era and the Planes vs. Zombies era and all these Flappy Bird and all kinds of crazy success stories that they've had were... It's not going to be... I mean, I'm, uh, this is obvious things that I'm saying. It's, it's, it's not going to be anywhere near that easy to get that level of success. And for many good projects and many things that people put a lot of effort and money into, they're still not going to see that level of success. Just because people are like burned out by it. Imagine being burned out by mobile gaming. Being burned out by the microtransactions. Hey, new overdupe. <coughs> Excuse me. I am still sick. I'm sure you guys figured that out. You're like, he's more nasal than usual, which is... That's saying a lot, actually. That's saying quite a lot. 28 more legendaries. And then we have more legendaries after that. I hope these gargoyles get something. That would be nice. Finally, a gargoyle buff. Excuse 
excuse me. I don't think that, or rather, I think that a, a lot of people that try to use the water cannon girl may not see the same level of results that I see with her because one of my big weaknesses is sometimes I won't bring enough defense breaks, which would be less of an issue if I was going ham farming artifacts as much as I probably should. But I do rotate artifacts with R5, with the dungeons, with everything else, right? So I farm plenty of artifacts, but not nearly as much as... And I also don't use a bot, so... So that's two reasons that I don't have the same artifact efficiency. So if I had very high artifact uh, additionals uh, in artifact efficiency, then defense breaks would matter less. Both of these. Well, let's just double check. For whatever reason, I want to double check. Might be silly. Definitely silly. I don't know. Some people sometimes will. Where's the monsters? Here's the moth. Didn't even build. Okay. And then this is the striker. So, yeah. I mean, there is a reason to build multiple samoths. Where am I going? I'm going over here. Yeah. Multiple samoths all on full damage is, uh, is a thing that people do, but we're not going to do that. There's so many good units that they need. Three LD5s. Jeez. That's that same kind of... That's the same kind of RNG where if you go to the food truck... Again, we're going back to the food truck. The lunchbox food truck. Pay $30. You come out with like a filet mignon and a lobster tail and some caviar. Like, wow, this was a really... This was a really good value for the money for this lunch. I mean, you would have to you would have to put those in every so often. If you if you really had that kind of why you keep getting the same So obviously this is a dupe. We'll do a couple more of these. I have a feeling that these we're still gonna get more dupes regardless. We'll use the blessing uh, in a in a bit. I mean, Double Bastard is not bad. Why was I going to refresh this? Like it's going to change. Like it's going to change the numbers. <laughs> Let's see the current numbers for bad. Keep, there's a lot of people that say keep dupe for Guild Siege. They're going to summon after this too. So maybe we'll keep the dupe for now. As long as they built the first best. I don't know why I skipped that. Uh, that has potential to go viral to that food truck. Oh, it's the best monster in all of Summoner's War. Fire Platy, Fire Mermaid. She's not bad. Honestly, people don't use her, but she can be used. She's got heal, she's got revive, she's got strip, she's got increased cooldown, she's got CC. She's got a lot of stuff. Let's see the best at situation. Man, you guys voted to keep a lot of this stuff for Guild Siege. I feel like so much more of this in previous years dupe usage polls would have been just like, feed, 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 feed. But now people are really appreciating the value of these uh, dupes and siege. And we, well, we did get a, oh, triple LD fives. Triple LD fives. Maybe 
they already have a couple plastics. I kind of, I kind of want another blessing here, though. Should we let them? We'll, we'll let them feed it later, I suppose. There's, I mean, even if they feed these for blessings later, that's, it's, there's nothing wrong with that. I just want to make sure that we have a blessing for the. Let's check out some of these uh, hell ladies. Let's do it again. I just want to make sure there's a blessing for the Ancient Transcendence. That's that's the only thing I really care about. Everything else can just be fed for blessings later, can pull double net five choices uh, later. The thing that I really just want to make sure is the Ancient Transcendence, we get a blessing for that. Number one priority. Could have been a dark one. Why were you not a dark one? Another Lucian? We seem to be getting some Lucians here. Or, or it's my imagination. We got at least a handful. I know that. I'm sure we got a handful of a lot of different monsters. The Lucian, whatever I'm noticing today, though. Hey, this is a LD4. Light Hark. Fire Dryad. What do we have? LDs. No, we already have a lot of... We already got really good L, uh, LD luck. I'm still... I'm, I'm, I'm still like, oh, let's get some more LD5s. Like, how greedy am I? Okay, got a water chakram. Wing Blade Dancer. What is her name? I don't remember her name. Because I don't use her. Because she's terrible. I built her. I fully skilled her up. I, she's so bad. She is poo poo. Which one is this? Okay, fire one. Two more LDL attributes. Uh, legendary all attributes. LDL attributes. Wow. Well, what's on my mind? LDs always every summon every summon session LDs always on my mind. Seven year special scrolls. Oh, we don't have the ten pulls for the. Oh my god. Maybe we will, what we'll do is we will. I'll do a separate part. If we get nat fives, then I'll include it. Something good. It was worth it, but this is the oh, this is the only good thing we got from this entire. Uh, we had seven scrolls left. Jeez. Well, at least we got something. All right, so I think it's going to be. Yeah, we don't need to include all that. I'll just cut it to where we actually got the. Well, you guys already saw where we we're gonna cut it. Anyway, uh, let's do this. Yeah, let's go. Mo Long! Ah, uh, we'll take this too! Shung Pong Mo Long! Nice! Street Fighter Scroll? We could get another. No, D5, I'm just saying. I'm just, let's put this back in storage. Uh, let's put these things in storage. We got a bunch of other stuff too. I switched it to Hargs because you got the light Hargs. So I was like, maybe he's gonna want to skill. Maybe he's gonna want some light Hargs to skill it up. So, yeah. There's the Shung Pong LD5s. There's the Mo Long. Nice. Alright, what do we have left? Street Fighters. All the Transcendence we will do at the end. SWC 2021s. Is everything here? Yeah, you were already on this. Let's do 2021. Let's do 2022. Let's do... The... Ooh! Wait a second. Yeah, so that was, uh, right. I didn't put that in there, but I did keep it in there without knowing. Did we get that? We didn't get the fire one, right? Some of these choices, I don't know. We've been getting good RNG with these, uh, 
what about the 2022? So the real, uh, I'm not gonna do this. I'm not gonna do this again. Um, yeah. Which one? Well, let's do Nana. Secret LD5. Which one? Uh, yeah, so Secret LD4. It happens. That's a new thing. It's the little, uh, for those of you that didn't already know, that is the little purple thing at the bottom. I'm sure most of you know, though. Getting these Street Fighter monsters. What are we? Wow, we're getting a lot of very meta units. We're getting a lot of very meta units. These special scrolls have been very lucrative for this account. Wow. Imagine more Shung Pung. So close to get me and Molong. Molong. Alright, let's do these cookies. He's gonna get the water cookie, of course. Nah, he'll get an LD cookie. I mean I meant the the water holly berry. Nah, we don't need this. He scored very bad, of course, on the uh, tier list. Wait, which one is... Oh, it's water. I said every time. It always looks grapey. Grapey purple. Alright, this is about... That's about what I expected. Three Assassin's Creed scrolls. Of course, we're going to get two more of the water uh, Ezio. And then water Ezio is going to get a buff. And he's super crazy OP. And we're going to want three of the water Ezio. Dark Ezio, though. All right, we're on these transcendence now. <sighs> we got so many of these water bayaks. Transcendence, transcendence, transcendence. We don't have anything to feed, right? All right, we have the uh, the wet Ezio to feed. Aside from that, I think we are. I think we're good. Three fifty-five. RNG, please. Six transcendence, one ancient transcendence. New overdupe. You will take it. Now we're going in raw. When we get two dupes, we'll go feed. This is one of the ones that they wanted. Wind Demon. Because it was it was in one of the lists. Somewhere. Fire Chimer, great unit. One of my favorites. Super nasty on defense. I think he's super nasty sometimes in RTA as well. This is new. I happen to know that this is new. I was like, oh, they never got a variety. Wow. Wow. And a Triton. We got to see if these things are new or dupes or what they what the case is. This is ridiculous. All right. So what do we get? We got a Vered, which is I know is new. I could have just kept them out. Oh, Rakan, Triton. The other ones I know are new. Does he have Rakans and Tritons? He has a Triton. We don't, we don't need a second Triton. He has a Rakan as well. Which is not even fully skilled up or ruined correctly, in my opinion. Uh, it was kind of, it's kind of, it's a halfway, he, he gets it, it's just the stats aren't there. Alright, let's go, let's take a look at, uh, let's do this, let's do Triton. Is over here, we don't need to do Tritons. Let's go see the car. Go to his house, hang out with him. Where is Rakan? We'll do Rakan too. They don't even have the runes for the first one yet, so. Alright, and we're we're done. We're done with blessings. We're done with blessings. Oh, we go almost almost to another one. Almost to another one. Alright. 
That means we have two blessings, one for the transcendence, one for the ancient transcendence, and then we have the eight year after that. Let's see what we get here. RNG, please. Of I have to pick. This is so toxic. By the time you guys see this, this is before balance patch ever comes out. Um, I'm assuming that one has already come out since then. I wonder if she's in it. But e this is a broken unit. This is a very strong... When she works. When she decides she wants to work, it's a very strong unit. So let's do Ancient Transcendence. And then we'll do 8-Year Transcendence. Yeah, let's do it in this order. I think they're actually... The value is maybe flipped. Again, this is before the balance patch. I don't know if this thing's going to get buffed. This is already good. She's a fantastic unit. If she doesn't strip, she can possibly just do it the next turn and keep doing it and keep doing it and keep doing it. So we have eight year transcendent scroll. Let's go. Let's see it. End of the video. This was a, this was a doozy. I'm going to go eat dinner after this. Yeah. Oh, putting princess. We have a second, a second ch a chance at her. <laughs> okay, so we have to choose a lad rail. New, 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 new. If this was my account, I would not choose a lad rail. That would not be my choice. I would say, hey, the wind slayer is good. Hey, the wind battle angel is pretty fun now too. Uh, I'm, there would be less of a less of a struggle uh, between me choosing like these over these. I'd be like, okay, it's just choose a, a lad rail, but. This one's a fantastic unit. This is the one I would pick personally. We're going to go with the ladrail because that's what it says. I just listen to what you guys want. If you guys say, do it like this, I'll do it like this. If you say, do it like that, I'll do it like that. So we're getting a ladrail. That's the one, That's the only one that they mentioned in the unit they're hoping to get. A ladrail will be wondrous so we can do lab boss and hell mode a little bit easier. Well, there you go. There's your brand new ladrail. In addition to... Three brand new LD5s, some really ridiculous op. I mean, sure, why not? Some really ridiculous OP units. Uh, some of these are very, very strong. Some of these are dupes, but they're good for siege. This is new, 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 new. Such new, crazy meta. This is a dupe, but. And three LD5s! Oh, man. Oof, I need a nap after this. Anyway, that's it for this one. Yeah, as if I did something that required that that was effort at all. Anyway, that's it for this one. A very cool uh, session that we were able to do today, which is not we usually don't get to do crazy ones like this. So uh, we do plenty, but usually they're not like years of premium scrolls and like whatever. We got a lot of new stuff. Is game? Ch this was a game changing session for them. And three LD5s. I'm gonna keep saying it. Three LD5s. Anyway, that's it for this one. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I will see you as always in the next one.